Hey friends, Donovan here from Ernie Williams and Music. I have one of my favorite guitars to show you today. <laughs> and I think I say that probably a, a, a fair amount. Uh, but, you know, when you own a store like this, probably a lot of guitars are your favorite. <laughs> but this one I love because it's so unique and has so much character. And, and this particular finish and combo to me is just so perfectly designed, especially aesthetically. So uh, we'll kind of get into it. So this is the Fender Gold Foil Tele, uh, Gold Foil Telecaster. And this particular finish is in kind of, you know, sort of this whitewashed finish with gold foil pickups. And there's something about that combination of, of this kind of gray white body, black pickguard, ebony fingerboard, the chrome and the gold from the gold foil pickups, um, and then the maple neck. That just the way visually that it's all appointed just to me looks so classic and beautiful. It's really nice. Uh, this guitar is designed to kind of like uh, show some of the influence from, from some of those iconic um, um, guitars from the 60s, even including like some of the visual look like from some of the, the kind of mail order type places from the 60s, the catalog companies and stuff like that. But with actual Fender like quality and um, design. So you're getting like a guitar that has that aesthetic of uh, those guitars from the 60s, but with modern playability, which is really nice. Uh, so it's essentially a telly, but different, kind of a telly on steroids. So let's talk about a couple things that are different right off the bat. So normal telly, as you guys know, is uh, generally um, a, an ash body. Uh, so ash body is, is kind of the character, a, a, a characteristic of that telly sound with an articulated kind of mid range. It has a little bit of that kind of nasally quality in a good way though, uh, to kind of, uh, cut through. Um, and then you also often have a maple neck, which, and excuse me, maple fingerboard, uh, which gives you some kind of brightness. So those two things together just can make it like a very bright, punchy, guitar with that kind of like enhanced sort of like mid-range thing, uh, which can be really nice. This is doing something different. Um, so with this guitar, um, and I, let me explain why. I think the reason, what they've, they've come up with a recipe here, and you'll hear it when John does the demo, for how to make this guitar sound great using these pickups. So these pickups, these humbucking pickups, these humbucking pickups have a lot of drive a lot of grit. Um, they uh, have. They can have a very focused and piercing sound just on their own. So if you just have those and you had it in like a traditional telly body, like a ash body, maple neck, uh, especially the ash body, I think you would find like it's just. It could just be too much. It could. It would not be versatile enough. It'd, it'd have a great like driving sound and that mid range sound, but it would be hard to do in other use for other things. So to balance that out, to make this recipe even, they paired it with a couple of things. One, they paired it with a mahogany body. And that mahogany, the mahogany has a much warmer overall sound, much, much warmer than um, ash, and doesn't have that articulated uh, mid-range. Everything's just a little more scooped and it's warm. Notes give kind of a bloom to it. Um, generally, personally, I'm not a huge favor, uh, uh, mahogany is not a huge favorite wood of mine, but when used intentionally, uh, because it's, they're using the properties of mahogany to blend something else properly, then it can be really nice. And in this guitar, they've totally nailed that. So that, that blend of these gold foil humbucking pickups with the mahogany body just really helps to kind of mellow it out a little bit without taking away the reason why you put the gold foil pickups in the first place. And then with the ebony fingerboard, that brings in some of those really high-end trebles. So we get some of those really top treble uh, sounds, which mahogany tends to take away. So this recipe of, of these woods together with these electronics gives you a guitar that 
Sounds like a telly, but kind of like a telly on steroids. It's a telly, telly that's been jacked up, a telly that's been amped up. And it's got more grit uh, and kind of more drive and more focus to the sound while also uh, being hum canceling, which is really nice. So a lot of time spent on the, those materials here, but I think it's a really important part of it. And it allows you to get all the sounds from like the band of the 60s and moving forward. So you can get all kinds of great sounds with that, at which you'll hear John uh, demo for you. Uh, the bridge, they're using this uh, chopped telly bridge, so it's just kind of a shorter uh, telly bridge. With this bridge, you can see we've got the three brass saddles uh, with it as well, uh, which is kind of a classic appointment. Um, and then the tuners, you've got these white plastic tuners, which again is kind of a throwback. Uh, it's a vintage style throwback to those guitars from the 60s. And uh, yeah, so you, you, like I mentioned, you kind of get that overall through body stringing, you get that aesthetic of those guitars from the 60s. And you get it in a guitar, though, that is, um, has modern build quality and performance. So, so in addition to this finish, which is my favorite finish, like I mentioned, it also comes in a candy apple burst. And this is also a really lovely finish as well. Um, so you can, it's kind of a subtle, that candy apple subtly in there, and it looks sort of like the forbidden apple. You know, it's really, this is, I, I, I think this is a lovely color. I just love that other color combination uh, better. But I, I mean, I do, do dig this. And you know this would also look just really great on stage. Classic appointments with the white pick guard um, and the gold foil pickups. Dome knobs that are rounded, three position switch, ebony fingerboard, mahogany body, same appointments vintage style tuners, just like the other. So yeah, friends, this is really cool. The Fender Gold Foil Telecaster, really, really neat. Uh, you listen to the demo and, and uh, listen to John play. And if that inspires you to pick one up, a couple of ways you can do it. Uh, we've kind of, we have stores all throughout Missouri and a store in, in Kansas as well. Um, so you can go to our website at erniewilliamson.com, see where your nearest er Ernie Williamson music store is. Uh, one of the cool things about our us, our store is we you, we have some of the same inventory in all locations, but if you see a guitar that's in one location that's not in your nearby local store, uh, all you got to do is email us or text us, and we are happy to get that transferred over to your uh, nearest Ernie Williamson location. Or if you live far away or just frankly don't feel like having to put pants on and come into the store, <laughs> then you can order straight from erniewilliamson.com and we are happy to uh, take that as well. Not just happy, we are grateful. We are grateful for all of you that order these uh, products and allow us to keep making these videos and keep getting super cool stuff in. So very thankful for you all. All right, friends. So I'll stop talking now so we can get in to listen to John play. But uh, listen to this and give me your thoughts. To, what do you think about this guitar? How do you feel about those pickups? And do you hear what I'm saying about that, that perfect recipe between the bright, focused, gritty sound of the pickups being married with that warm bloom of the mahogany body? Do you, can you hear that when you hear it? Let me know in the comments. Thank you. 